co-op is one of the largest co-ops in the world. We had to reimagine our recruitment service. We needed to innovate fast, so with Oracle HCM and Oracle integration, we actually implemented the whole service within two quarters. Now that we've implemented the service, it takes our managers 30 seconds and five clicks to raise that requisition, which is fantastic. Okay, now we're official. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you guys for joining me today. I have to say, I love it when HR gets to go first because we know that we are the center of the universe as far as anything related to employees go. This is a very important part of the product suite. So I thought it'd be great before we get into talking product, because I know that's what everyone's expecting. Tell us about your business. Tell us about who you are and you know what's driving your organizations today. Okay. so. Um a lot of people in this room will know who the co-op are. The co-op, a uh, very large organization in the UK. Uh, we have uh, around 70,000 colleagues, uh, 2,500 food stores, uh, 1,000 funeral uh, branches, the largest in the UK. Uh, and we're owned by 5 million members. A lot of people in the room probably have a membership card. Uh, and that makes us a little bit unique, we think, because that enables us to focus on things that are important to us, like our social goals, goals programs uh, and our community programs. Uh, for example, we, have, uh, we run and operate 24 academy schools uh, in the UK. And, and I think where our, our sort of current focus is on related to technology is uh, a lot of it's around optimizing our operations, uh, making things more efficient for our colleagues, uh, and, and also what we call being convenient. So being convenient is different depending on which business you're in, but from a colleague perspective, it's all around us giving technology to make colleagues be better at their jobs, to spend more time with our customers uh, and, our, and our communities. Okay, great. All right, so what led you in, in that kind of a, of a business environment, what led you to think about modernizing HR? Yeah. You would think, you know, maybe I'm gonna start with CX or maybe I'm gonna start with the ERP. You know, were there business challenges or technology needs that really pushed you in that direction? Yeah, so um, we were really constrained by technology um, that really prevented us offering a, a good colleague proposition. Uh, so uh, we were constrained by change, so our systems were uh, not, not integrated, we had uh, a lot of legacy applications in there. Uh, and it fundamentally didn't allow the business to do what they wanted to do. There was lots of manual, um, time consuming, which became error, error prone uh, processes. So we really needed to completely turn that on its head, make ourselves far more agile as a business, be able to offer uh, self-service options to our, to our colleagues, which made us more efficient. And really, not just that, create a platform for change. So I think from a, from a business case perspective, the numbers stuck, uh, stacked up. Um, I think there was a four and a half million pound saving associated with the transformation. Uh, and, but we'd, I say, we, we, we had much more uh, faith in the platform than that in terms of having a platform there that we could continually grow and innovate on, which is what we've continued to do. Great. So you've been live for a while. I, I lucked out and happened to be visiting the day you went live, which was just fabulous to hear your story around how you prepared the services center and then you really didn't need them because things were going fairly smoothly. Like we'll call that a success for a go live. But you know, can you talk about what it's been like living in the cloud now that you're a couple years on? What, what, what's it like in your organization today? Yeah, sure, Gretchen. So, I mean, we started our journey at the Corp to the cloud back in 2015. So we've kind of got five years in the cloud now. Um, and life in the cloud from a co-op perspective is all about change, innovation, um, and involvement of the product. Um, they're some of the key, f key items for us. But before we talk about change, you've kind of got to go back to 2015 and look at the investment court made in the people. So the team that we formed as part of the program are very much the team that are at the heart of everything we do today. So we've got cr great pedigree in the cloud and a, a team that underpins that. What has changed for the corp, though, is the model. So we now operate a DevOps uh, methodology. We use agile practices. Um, and we tend to do iteration in design. Um, from a business perspective, what we tend to see now is there is less requirement for a large program structure. We're leaner in our delivery model. Um, and one of the great examples uh, for the co-op was the implementation of the HM learning platform. Uh, so we kind of replaced 10 LMSs across the suite of co-op businesses. Um, we did that using one product engineer um, from zero to 12 weeks, saw us go live for 6,000 colleagues with mandatory learning. Um, and then subsequent sprints, 
release new functionality to maximize the benefit um, and onboard new colleagues. So we started in around February and by September we were live for 70,000 colleagues. Very much a, a co-op production in partnership with, uh, with OC where we used um, the resource in OC to help augment the co-op team and complement in areas where we knew we would need additional skill sets. And who thought you were crazy with this approach? You know, one yes. developer, six months for 70,000 employees. I thought we were crazy. You thought we were crazy. I thought we were crazy. <laughs> yeah, because normally the, the, the tendency would be to, to engage a, a, a partner. We had a great deal of confidence in the team. Mm -hmm. All, the, all those years' service going through the program, we believe we could do it. But equally, as we form this into a sprint plan, you guys kind of validated that for us and said, absolutely, this is what you can do. We've got every faith. And you know, through that support, we went on to deliver on time, on budget, and it was, it was a great success. Great. So you know, in full transparency, we can't have someone come up here and just tell us how wonderful everything's been. Because there are times when things are not great, and you know, we try really hard to partner well with you, but I'd love to hear your perspective. What's well, worked well? Where could we improve? This is your one chance to get your wish list item on the roadmap. <laughs> so what would you like to see? If I think back to 2015 and the implementation of, of payroll, it was we, we were the first large payroll to go live in the UK, right. first to go live with statutory absence. It was a sticky time, um, but the the partnerships we, we, we created with Oracle during that time has really held us in good stead going forward. I mean, we had to have some difficult conversations through that, uh, um, but together using partnership behaviors, I mean, we're a cooperative, we cooperate, so that works really well from our, in our DNA. Uh, and actually, those relationships have sort of continued on to how we operate now, Gareth? Yeah, so I think, I think for me, the kind of that Oracle relationship and where we've had the ongoing kind of help is, is in four key pillars for me. So first of all was around support and providing confidence in the product and removing any, any product defects. The second has been that partnership with the center of excellence. So we've had some real great work on early adopter to reduce the volume of testing um, and also pilot some new key features as a major, as a major partner. Interestingly, we stay incredibly close to the sales side for our strategy and how the product is evolving and how the product is being pitched to new customers. So we keep a line of sight, uh, cutting edge. And then finally, and later partnering very much with um, Oracle Consulting to help us um, augment the resource in the co-op team. I think my ask going forward is, as we, as we go on this journey, is to help us now as a co-op, we're very interested in developing this kind of 360 degree view of our colleagues. So looking forward to recruit cloud, how do we do that and bring these modules together cohesively is the next, next step for the co-op really. Right. Well, we've got a session on that in 45 minutes, so you yeah. can come hear what we're doing. <laughs> all right, so I think maybe last question for you all. Everyone talks about the pace of change. You know, Jurgen started us off by talking about how do you outpace change. And one of the good news about moving to the cloud is the quarterly update cycle and kind of staying consistent. And one of the bad news is the quarterly update cycle <laughs> and how do you stay consistent. So can you talk about how that pace of change has changed in your organization, what behaviors have changed or how you've seen any mm. impacts in your organization? I think the, the pace of change was an opportunity for us. Um, the ability to change things frequently, not just the quarterly updates, but be able to continually innovate on the products is a big advantage. I think um, that has created expectations now from a technology team to the business that we can deliver and absorb everything, which is a, a bit of a challenge. Uh, however, what has enabled us to do is really optimize the product continually. I think you've got an example, Gareth, of where we've done that. Yes, yeah, so I, think, I, th I think that optimization is key and what you can actually do with core products. So uh, we went live, obviously, a few years ago. We launched self-service for all colleagues. And very recently, using Design Studio and Page Composer, we've worked as a team to reimagine that journey for our colleagues. Um, and we've taken our transfer process, which on average took about 50 minutes to do. Um, and last year we did around 18,000 of these transfers. Using that new tooling, we've been able to reduce that now to 11 minutes, which is putting thousands of hours back into our stores rather than doing the transfer process. So we've had some real success on the optimization side as well. That's fantastic, and I think the, the more you live within the cloud, you're going to see other opportunities like that. Because yeah. You've gone beyond implementation, now you're living, and so it's a different type of change. And, and it's got us excited about the future. Uh, the next step for us over the next two years, we've got plans to go to the help desk product uh, in HM Cloud, um, and also I'll call Recruit Cloud. So there are a number of um, iterations now of where we're going with new modules. Yeah.
Fabulous. All right, well, thank you for joining Pleasure. us today. Everyone, please help me thank Gareth and Simon. Thank you. Thank you.